Joan Shannon to represent their party in the race for mayor of Burlington. Catherine Huntley spent the day at the caucus. She takes us there. In a historic caucus with 3,333 votes cast, the winner needed to win with more than 50% of the vote. And on the first ballot, Joan Shannon prevailed with a nail-biting 50.6%. History made with more than 3,000 people voting in the Democratic caucus, breaking the record of 1,300 people back in 2011. Burlington's caucus looked much different than it did 12 years ago, held largely virtually, including virtual voting. There were a small number of people in person at Edmonds Middle School to spectate candidate speeches, which were streamed live before voting began. As your mayor, I will go to bat for you every day. Let's meet this moment together. What this city needs now is new leadership. Leadership that is pragmatic, accountable, invites everyone in, and is full of energy. I love the spirit of our city, and together we will make the progress that we need. Three candidates for mayor making their final pitches shortly before voting began. The Burlington Democrats have been using this virtual voting software for three years now. The interest in this caucus was so great that they couldn't find a suitable space for all the voters. Voters received an email and text once the ballot was released. They were then able to do a few quick steps to vote virtually, many at the caucus saying it was an easy process. Then at 5 p.m., results were tabulated and the announcement was made. Joan did earn the majority. With three candidates in the race, there was speculation this would go to a second ballot. But with 50.68% of the vote, Joan Shannon won. I am really honored. Um, I'm so proud of the work that so many people did. I mean, this was really a grassroots campaign. Next, Shannon is buckling down for a longer campaign ahead of March's town meeting day. She will be up against progressive Emma Mulvaney Stanek. Going forward, anybody who gets elected is going to re represent all of Burlington, and we always have to be open-minded, we have to listen, um, and most importantly, we have to listen to people we disagree with, because sometimes they're right, and I don't ever want to uh, you know, lose sight of that. Town meeting day is Tuesday, March 5th. In Burlington, Katherine Huntley, Channel 3 News. The University of Pennsylvania